Ancestors. Actually, you know what? Let me just quick be greedy here for a second and go see what in the world this is. It's a hidden treasure. It's a hidden treasure. Get up on the rocks, Garrett. What are you doing? Come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, what's turned into a supposedly would have been a short little jaunt has escalated into an annoying little adventure. Okay, there we go. If I can- Oh my goodness! Gosh, Nurbit. Okay, well let's actually try this spinning attack while we're at it. Look at that, look at that. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that spinning attack. Oh, I like it. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that one froze him too. Okay, I don't need that skull. Let's dive. There's a stupid siren here. Must be him. Or not. Can I like do anything? Oh, I guess that's an insta-kill down underwater. Is this right here? Is this him? Aki? This must have been him. Must have been him. Rest in peace, my friend. May the gods find worth. I help wondering what that accomplished, if anything. To see you, little Rick. Nope. May the gods bring you into their halls, Aki. And may you leave your brother at peace. Oh my goodness, Skellige is so beautiful! Gash, Nurbit, it's just, oh, so good. What is this thing I picked up anywhere? Some cool little blades there. What is this? Uh, must have been a treasure hunt that I found. Eagle's Dare. Inheritance. Okay, so there's another... <laughs> there's just a bunch of treasure hunts. I should probably go on those later. Return to Udalric. I have a feeling he's in trouble. I have a feeling, just a small, small feeling he's in trouble. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's not a thing, because if it is, then rip in rip. Rip and rip. Okay, come on, Geralt. Come on, man. It is your time to go and... Uh-oh. That was not good. That was not good. What just happened? What just what happened? Uderic. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the... Will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Ew. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. No. Nope. Poke out your eye. Suffer. And regret the evil you've wrought. Yeah, that sounds about Why right. God speak to you. Because it did matter who put the thing out there. After, sleep came over me, so I lay down. It was then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you. Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. 
They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. This is just a gnarly, gnarly set of... <sighs> the gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. Mm, this is weird. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Look at that. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. This is something much more malevolent and sick. Look at it. Look at it. Oh man, this is creepy. This is darn creepy. Yeah. Know what it is? It's a heim, a post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who can deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Himes lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the high out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible, then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? Oh, what can you do to trick it? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. No, <laughs> this is gonna get real tricky. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. Oh. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into the Yennefer stuff. Good decision. <sighs> the house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Ah, <sighs> goodness. Let's go now. No reason to delay. 
Goodness, what in the world? This is just gonna be tricky. Ah, uh, brutes. Sorry. I've received 27.6 experience. Hmm. Goodness, this is just... Just an interesting, interesting thing here. What is this? Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Gotta be something we can do here. What in the world? Siri? Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. What in the world? Looking to discourage me? <laughs> means you're scared. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Yeah, I'm kind of spooked right now. What is this right here? Why can't I get to it? Okay, well. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Okay, there's plenty of ways here. This thing is gonna end up like spooking me. I have a feeling. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. I'm trying to think of what in the world I could do to Karis that would make her so. No. In the world? Where, where'd she just go? But she was just right here. What in the Hello, world? Mom, think I've got an idea. What's your idea? Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Okay, I trust you. Hope you know what you're doing. Please don't kill me. So do I. So, can we start? I don't know what you have in store for me. Oh, what? 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 At least a little. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I don't even know why I said that. Just so go. So, can we start? So, can we start? I'm ready. All right. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Okay, what? A few hours later, Geralt sitting next to the fire in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Taken. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Oh my goodness. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the faith. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Oh my goodness. Put the baby in the oven. Oh my goodness. I have to trust her. I have to trust her. She did something. Good granny. Good granny. I have to trust her. Oh, he arted it. Come on. Okay, okay, what's happening? Did it draw him out? Come. There it is, there it is. I have you now, vile beast. Been tricked. Kid Aki? Oh. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. 
Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. Oh my goodness, that was creepy and... How did they do it? <sighs> it's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free. <laughs> Whose child was that? <laughs> free. The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. I don't understand. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. Don't let him go down the stairs. He's gonna fall down the stairs. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speakerog? Speakerog. Not yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown. Oh my goodness. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Duh. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. Oh my goodness. The, oh, 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 okay. Thank you for pushing me down the stairs. Really appreciate that. Good granny. What a, what a, oh, hey. What an experience that was. King's Gambit, okay. I have to go back and collect my reward now from Kraken Crate. Kraken Crate, I've completed your mission. Your, I've completed your mission. I don't know why I just got all Russian-ish. Okay, the bridge to Kertrold. So let's see here. I'll um, I'll talk to him and see who the next king will be. His son has. Defeated a giant. Um, let's see here. Holger's horn. Nithing talked to Lothar. Okay. I should probably go look into that right there. I need to figure that guy's thing out. Let's see this first. This will probably be today's Witcher. Witcher Gambit here. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Saris and Yalmar. Today, 
You're one of us. Yeah. Come, Krakowitz. Okay, cool. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No. Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do. Oh boy, here we go. Support me. Not pinch my allies. If an aunt creates to wear the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Put your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting. 